What is going on YouTube? John here, back again with another unboxing and review. This time I'm here with the DC Designer Series Batman by DC Collectibles. If you're not familiar with the DC Designer Series, what they do is they take a popular DC artist and make a statue based on their artwork. This statue specifically is done in the artwork style of Olivier Coipel. Now you've probably seen his work all over Marvel and DC from Thor to Batman. So I'm really excited to take a look at the statue. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to show you the box, take them out of the box, put them together and tell you my overall impressions. Uh, this should be a fairly quick review, if only because the whole thing of these statues is that the character is kind of the star of the show. So all of these DC Designer Series statues have a very minimalist style base. It just kind of has the logo on it. It's kind of like just a black disc. So it should be a quick one. Stay tuned. Let's start out with the front here. You got a close-up shot of Batman here. It says the name of the artist here. Uh, DC Collectibles, rest in peace. Unfortunately, they shut down earlier this year, which is actually part of the reason why I got this because they're probably going to start licensing out the rights to make statues and stuff like that to other folks. And, you know, who knows what kind of, like, growing pains that process is going to go through. I wanted to get some of these DC Collectible statues before that happened in case these go up in value and i just miss out on them because i get priced out these are made directly from dc hence direct from the source which is kind of like i always kind of respected i thought that was kind of cool that they had their own division that made all these i don't know it kind of had a certain authenticity to it which i'm guessing it was the whole point but anyway i'm going to shift this over here to the side they have a side view here of batman uh you move over here there's kind of a, a a kind of zoomed out shot of him and it shows the three other statues that are part of this run this series here this one in particular i saw i'm like oh that looks pretty cool when i went to check obviously a lot of these are already um sold out you know they've already been sold through and you know all types of different people have it <laughs> i went to look this one up on ebay and oh boy is that one uh expensive so i was just like never mind <laughs> you go back over here to the side it shows a closer up view of the full statue it says who, what the artist is and it was sculpted by alejandro pereira so that's pretty cool it shows you uh, they measure approximately 10.9 inches high oddly enough a lot of times DC statues, they don't measure them necessarily in scale, but in inches. So you have, oh, the, you know, 12 inch statues, the seven inch statues, the nine inch statues and so on and so forth. But what this basically equates to is a one six scale statue. And over here on the top, you have the bat logo here with the yellow trim, which I think is pretty cool considering that's the same style of bat on the chest of the statue. I thought that's pretty cool. And on the bottom, I guess I'll show you everything. It shows you the edition size, which is 5,000, and mine is 1,054 out of 5,000. You ever guys wonder how this works? Because does this mean that, like, I bought the 1,054th statue, the next guy that buys it gets the 1,055th statue? Or is it just randomized? I, I always wondered that. I don't know how exactly they parse those out. I guess that's a good question. If you any of you guys know out there, uh, drop a comment and let me know how that works because I'm pretty new to the statue game, so I have no clue. But anyway, other than that, I'm going to go ahead, take them out of the box, put them together, and I'll let you know what I think. All right, I went ahead and took a box cutter to the tape that was sealing the two pieces of styrofoam together. I have not taken a look at this yet, so you're going to get my first impressions as I open this up. So let's do this. Take this off. Some of the still kind of stuck. Sorry for those loud popping noises. And you have two separate pieces from the looks of it. The character itself and then the base. Let's go ahead and start with the base first since Batman is kind of has a big cape and he seems like he'd be a little unstable. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this first and then go from there. So it's pretty, like I said, pretty basic kind of like minimalist sort of base is just kind of like a round disc has the bat logo on it it is the same shape as the rebirth version and it's in all yellow which is nice it has two little peg ports here for you to key in the statue into in the back it says dc collectibles and like i said in the video earlier it is a numbered piece so there's a total edition size of 5000 and i have the 1054th 
So I'm gonna go ahead and place that down over here. I'm gonna go ahead, get rid of the styrofoam and show you what it looks like when you put this guy together. I opted to key him into the base first before I kind of take a closer look at him. Based on the fact that he has this long flowing cape with a big gap in between the cape and the actual body of the statue, I didn't want to rest him on his back while I tried to set this up because I didn't want to break him by accident. So I'm going to go ahead and start just putting them together and then we could take a detailed look after that. So you have the base there, nothing too crazy. And you have Batman here who looks great, but we'll get into that later. He has two key points here and there's two keyholes here. You just basically just key them in it should be pretty easy, hopefully. I don't think I'm gonna have too much trouble doing that. And no, I did not, he's already in. And there he is, <laughs> that's it. There's not a whole lot to these just because the whole point of these is the, the art style that they're done in. And Batman looks fantastic here. Uh, here you have the Batarang. It has a nice little metallic kind of wash to it along the edges. Kind of gives it this worn look like you could tell he's used it a time or two. I do like that they have a gold trim around the bat symbol here and gold around the bat belt instead of the traditional yellow that you get from this rebirth costume. I think that's a nice touch because I think it already has like an artistic style because it's based on Olivier Coipel's kind of art. So I think if they gave it kind of like that kind of bright yellow, it looked a little too animated. So I think this was a nice compromise. I do like the detail here on his gloves, his gauntlets, and he has the, the little spikes on his gauntlets on both sides. One thing that's kind of really unique about this statue that you don't see too much even on the other designer series statues is that it has an amount of cell shading and cross hatching. Like you look at this stuff right here where it looks like it's shaded in, that's actually sculpted into the actual statue. That's not just like a decal or anything like that. It, do, it really does give it a nice sense of dimension. I do like that. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Borderlands games. I don't know if you've ever played that where it has that kind of cell shaded kind of look. It does give this statue a really unique thing that not a lot of the other Batman statues have. So I do really appreciate that. Um, turning things around here, you have his cape, which is actually beautifully sculpted. It has different segments to it. It has nice wrinkles to it. It has a, a bit of uh, molded in kind of details as well. It has a lot of wrinkles where the cape meets the cowl, which is kind of gives it a very cool look. I am really a big fan of this statue. I thought I liked it in, in the promo shots that I saw, but it really does look way better on hand. I, I have to give it to DC Collectibles on this one. Um, you couldn't ask for much more at the price point and the art style really shows through the statue itself. I don't have any real complaints. The paint applications are really well done. Yeah, I'm really, really stoked. One of the things I love is the fact that they have that purple on the inside of the cape. I don't know why, but that just really kind of really sets it off for me. It kind of reminds me of the old school Batman, like the very first costume. It's a nice little throwback to that. Another thing I like about this statue is that it kind of looks good in a lot of different angles. You go from here to here, to here, like he just looks good all the way around, you know, which you don't get that with a lot of statues. You have a lot of display options with this guy, I think. Honestly, there's not a whole lot to this guy. That's, that's pretty much it. This is my first DC statue and I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna be getting definitely more of these the kind of statues. I wanna get the whole Bat family eventually. So I wanna get like a Catwoman statue, Robin, Nightwing, Joker, and a few other ones to finish my display. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Comment below, tell me what your favorite Batman statue is or your favorite costume for Batman. If you wanna get more of these videos as they come out, go ahead and press on the bell and that'll notify you anytime I make a new video. You could follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm John16, all together in one word. And until next time, see you guys later.